Welcome back to Mango Plays Wild of Flowers. And it's 11 o'clock at night. And we've got snowdrops on the agenda. I don't know what else we're going to get done. Uh, we got our lovely new greenhouse. we got a few recipes that I kind of want to unlock. Also, uh, it's been pointed out I probably need to do some more fishing for bottles for recipes. So we'll be doing that. Um, anything for harvest? No. Everything's being looked after nicely, which is all good. Let's go to sleep. Should oh. I go to bed? Yes, go to bed. Enjoy sleep time. I do like your new outfit very much. Okay, Sunday. Ooh, are the cauliflowers ready? I think I need that for some recipes. Cauliflowers. Not really sure what, can't remember. Uh, we got our summon thing spell still going. Yep, let's uh, do our harvesting. We got our bees producing because our flowers are up, which is nice. And um, yeah, I will hopefully apparently run round. Hopefully um, get all of these harvested nice and easily. Okay. Okay, don't know where plant is. Oh, they're in the greenhouse. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, there's some stuff to do in the greenhouse. But what I did see was you return. And you need to be out there always. Uh, first, let's me grab the goodies, though. I want to... Uh, you've got enough food. I want to... Hmm. Hey, Feedy, Get to it! Purchase some more animals. So we'll get more animals purchased. I'm going to do my work in the greenhouse. Yeah, good stuff. We, how long until the snowdrops are ready? Three days. That's perfectly acceptable. I'm willing to wait three days. Okay, I do believe Sunday Marty is at um, their ranch. So yeah, we will, we will go spend some money. I've got 6,000. It's not a huge amount, but I should have the ability to uh, at least purchase a few more. Oh, you got a quest. Okay. Hi, Marty. Uh, uh, Martin. Uh, which which one is it? It's Marty. My father's estate manager has just called. Maplethorpe Tower has been sold to pay his creditors, and I Aww. feel fine. Actually, it's strange. All my life, I've carried the weight of the Maplethorpe name. But now, for the first time, my future is completely mine to define. For better or worse. So, you'll stay? Yep. What would become of Mutilda or Attila the Hen if I left? <laughs> Besides, I can't give Thomas the satisfaction of watching me move out. That sounds petty. That sounds responsible. Um... Do you know what? There is room in life for a little bit of petty. Because this this level of petty isn't mean. It is... I, I am aware that that would cause someone satisfaction. And I don't want them to have that satisfaction. It's not I'm being petty by being in their face about it. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's using pettiness responsibly to maybe improve your life. Which I think is good. Look at you, taking responsibility for your livestock. I know. Following through on something we start is not exactly a Maplethorpe trait. It feels weird, but good. When I came here, I thought I was going to be dealing with a bunch of country rubes. But then this strange thing happened. I began to actually like the people here. I just hope they give me another chance. You know what? I think they might, Marty. If you work for it. Show that dedication. Hey Marty, how's it going? Oh, you know, just cleaning out the barn, processing the fact that Vanessa was floating in front of the mayor's mansion. <laughs> Usual spring stuff. <laughs> yeah, fair enough, fair enough. Do I have anything you love? I mean, I'm pretty sure we're at full hearts with you, right? I don't know. I don't understand the one heart characters. I feel like it's a bit upsetting, really. Okay. Um, let's get. Let's get another. Just get another cat. Uh, get another sheep. I want more wool, realistically. Here is your animal. Now, mm -hmm. what would you like to call her? Uh, Smokey. Smokey. Mm -hmm. That's exactly what I was thinking. Oh, really? That's the first time that Marty's agreed with my name choice. Wow. Okay. Right. Um, 
let's see. Who? Let's have a look at our journal and our heart. I should go do my uh, stuff so I can see if I can get more recipes that people love. So yeah, can I can I increase their friendship anymore? I don't know. Uh, obviously, Parker's fully hearted out. It's interesting to me that Otto's still like available in the residence list, considering they're not a residence. Resident, even. And, yeah, like, Vanessa is still marked off as being at school. You know? Anyway, I'm a bit confused about this. Now, can I increase my hearts for Zephyr anymore? That's something I want to know. Should also get some more, um... Are they churros? That one there. That looks like what I would expect churros to look. Oh, I love churros. Um, yeah. Okay. I really want to work on hearts with people. I think that's going to be important. So we can get more story, more lore. Just found out something nice about Lamartis, you know? I want that. Um, let's make more crystal ball potion. And use our crystal ball. No, use our crystal ball, please. Okay, we know everything for Gloria. We've got another um, thing for Kim. Oh, I think I see something. The last one for Kim. Miso soup. Oh, love miso soup. Absolutely adore it. Okay, Lena. Finally, getting to know what Lena likes. Oh, I think I see something. Uh, pumpkin pie. Yeah. Is that like hot chocolate? Hmm. Okay. Lena. What else we got for you? Hmm. Oh, I think I see something. Snickerdoodle. It's empty. Okay. We're all done. Let's go, um, I guess, take a charm. Uh, it's midday. You know what? It don't matter. I'm not going to be massively efficient. Let's okay, take a charm potion. And and just hunt around for people. We've got a soup to collect because it's Sunday. We won't be able to see everyone, to be fair, because some people will sort of like hide out on Sundays, and I don't blame them. Sunday is prime snuggling under a duvet day and just oh, enjoying life, chilling out, you know. Hey, the whole Kai. Winter, all I could think about was piecing out as soon as the ferry got fixed. But I don't think I can leave until I find out what the deal is with the fairy and the dude who had the backwards feet. Yeah. But also, once you have um, the ability to leave, maybe it doesn't feel as necessary to leave, you know? That kind of concept, I think, would be where in my brain. Like, oh, I, I need to leave because I've got no choice. Like, I, I, can't, I can't leave, so I need to leave. But as soon as it's come back, yeah, it's unavailable. this looks great. Mm, like I you know, say, I feel more comfortable being around. in the place I'm at. Does that make so sense? Big. Indeed, guy. Oh, actually, I should purchase some stuff from you. Uh, we still need to unlock some things. Um, do you know what? Let me do all the candles. I'm making more candles, or I will at least. Um, I, I can sell you olives. Let's do like 10 olives. And we will come back for more stuff to sell to you. I don't... I don't feel like there's anything locked behind. I think I just got to keep coming more often because the other stuff... It comes into stock pretty regularly. I don't feel like I'm out of things, if that makes sense. Okay. Oh, Violet, this design is fabulous. You really think so, Sophia? Absolutely. In fact, I want to commission one of these dresses in my size. <laughs> what do you think, Tara? Uh, uh, me too, please. It would look great on Sophia. It's too vintage for me. How can I know without seeing the design? Like, come on. Um, but I'm going to compliment Sophia. It's such a nice design. It will look great on you, Sophia. It certainly will. And I'll make sure it fits like a dream. Can I tell you a secret? The design was inspired by a vintage dress that belonged to my mom. Oh, yes. I think I remember the one you're talking about. Gloria always looks so classic in it. I think that's a lovely idea, Violet. I just need to get around to fixing my old sewing machine so I can actually make these. <laughs> Ah, maybe I can help you fix your sewing machine, Violet. 
Yeah, maybe. I should be thinking about what flowers to order for the shop. Instead, I'm dreaming about what fabrics would work best on a pleated A-line skirt. You can do both, surely. I have every faith in you, lovely. Right, rice pudding, which is sort of down the bottom, right? Yeah, there we go. Here you go, lovely. Enjoy. My abuela on my dad's side taught me that the best way to make rice pudding is to put a whole cinnamon stick in there. But even if you just poured cinnamon from a spice jar, still looks delicious. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's say hello to our fa fab favorite. Juliet's more excited about school this spring than she's ever been. She said Giva taught them how sound waves move through the air. If I'd known that all it took was to get her interested in STEM subjects, huh? Yeah, it always seem, it seems easier. Oh, actually, I might have some stuff to sell you. It always seems easier once um once you can see that, to be fair, bless you. Uh, do I have fish sticks? I do. Uh, Max, please, sell 51. And, of course, I will need to make some more soon to get some more cash. Hello, lovely. How you doing? I'm kind of jealous Francis was initiated. I want to know more about my dad's other life did we not tell julia a little bit like i get it i wonder if vanessa left any of her clothes behind i could stretch out some of her pantsuits maybe rip them up a little cam okay okay no fashion larceny <laughs> i'm down for you doing that enjoy here we go you're going to tell me that it's full of nice fresh fish when it's vegetarian. It's going to feel weird. You know, so I'm going to skip that. Hello, lovely. Mommy looked worried. But she's too brave to be scared of a bully like Mrs. Soft. Hmm. I appreciate that you feel that way. Your mum's pretty Ooh, scared, though. a snack. Let's see if it fits in my pocket. Rightly so, friend. Uh, do not get me wrong, right? I get why. Fully. Like, being a mum of two adorable kids, a business owner, like, there's a lot riding on stuff going wrong, and her being less popular um, could really cause havoc. Now that the ferry's back in service, I can go visit my brother back in the city. But what am I going to say when he asks me about Fairhaven? Everything's cool, dude. Half my neighbors are witches, and the mayor's wife was a supervillain this whole time. I mean, yeah, you could. I don't think I have anything you like, but to be fair, we are best friends, so we're good. Uh, here I demo. I don't know if like it stops at best friends. Off to college. <laughs> he knows a lot more about where he wants to go than I did at his age. As always, that always impresses me as like someone who didn't know anything that like i wanted to do still don't to be brutally honest i have dreams don't get me wrong mm, yeah i can smell the cardamom i don't care what anyone else says this this is the best kind of curry there is i need to try it then because i love curry adore curry all types of curry so you know i i need to try it clearly what did we get pumpkin soup one of my favorite soups Ooh. friends we're all in the valley of disillusionment right now or at least I am. No, that's not quite right. Am I interrupting something? Oh, hi, Tara. I'm trying to work on new sermon ideas, but nothing seems right. I never thought I would say this, but I'm considering leaving the League of the Conscious Mind. Yes. I followed Messenger Korn's teachings for so long, but they led me astray. I was to blame for suggesting that some of our neighbors might be malcontents, and I let Otto take the trials a bit too far. A bit? <laughs> of it Vanessa was to blame too silent judgment oh I love all of these choices is that how you spell judgment isn't there an E between the G and an M or is that just because I'm used to the E existing after the word judge you know at the end of the word judge that I forget that it drops it between the two I don't know I'm judging not silently clearly Um, I like the top one the most I think uh, Vanessa was to blame too, clearly, but Cameron very much led it on. Um, and Vanessa was able to leverage what Cameron was preaching quite heavily, in my opinion. A bit too far. <laughs> A bit too far? You're right. Everything got out of control. 
and I only made it worse. I know I was a big part of the problem, but I want to be part of undoing the damage I have caused. I want to create a consciousness center that speaks to the heart, as well as the mind, but I need a brand new slate of sermons. Will you help me? I need some paper and ink to get started. Uh, sure, I guess. Not a chance. Absolutely. Sure, I guess. Thank you, Tara. I'll show you that I really am going to make some changes here. A league of one's own. Yeah, no problem. Um, I'm down for this. At the end of the day, I've got to go by what they've shown me. And they've shown me this sort of like desire that they want to change. I'm happy to give them the ability to change, and we'll see whether or not they do. Gloria came to visit the Consciousness Center the other day. Really? I didn't think she was the type. Oh, no, she didn't want to climb the mountain. She told me that if I ever accused anyone else of being a malcontent, she would slap me with taxes so high I'd never leave the Valley of Disillusionment. Which, fair. <laughs> uh, here you go, have some avocado toast. Oh, wow. It's so hard to get good avocados out here. They're usually hard as rocks. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, we'll get you your quest bit soon. How are you doing, Angus? Giva visits the Consciousness Center often, but she never really stays for her sermons. Maybe if I start leaving out scones and tea biscuits. Ah, uh, maybe. That's honestly a way to make Brit stay. Also, tea tea and coffee it, you, you can't have what did he call it tea biscuits without a hot drink right biscuits are twice baked Tara, they're hard how did you know that my family eats scurly for the holidays every year i didn't it's the best side dish no question okay i'll have to try it sometime yeah they've got to be done right you can't have them dry you have them dry it's it no no it's sacrilege it's, it's awful oh hello how you doing you having a good Sunday? The energy of this town is special. Don't forget to take it in every once in a while. I don't. Thank you, though, for reminding me. I have some goods for you. Here you go. Have a... A fessenjan. Fessenjan? Yeah, pomegranate walnut stew. Honestly, this one, I'm not sure I like the sound of. I, it's, it wouldn't be my first choice. <sighs> Sweet dishes Marvelous. are a bit weird for me. Let me know if you have more. I don't. Sorry, lovely. Maybe I'll make you some more. Okay. We have done the majority of people here. We should go to Ravenwood. Um, say hello to... Hmm. Um, 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 the people in Ravenwood. Um, keep wanting to say Faye. It's not Faye. What is your name? Lovely. The fairy. That is part of the fae. That's Zephyr and Wesley. Ariel. Perry, that's it. Why was, that, why was my brain stuck on fae? I don't know. Probably because it's the other word for fairy, isn't it? So, yeah, my brain just went, yep, that's the thing. Okay, let's go. Oh, there you are, Natalia. I should also start picking up quests, realistically. Yeah, let's just start picking up quests, bulletins, good stuff. Um, right. They won't be in their shops anymore. So, here you are. Shelby is more mysterious than even most Fey. I often wonder what stories he has yet to tell. Oh, that's a very nice way of putting it. You know what? That was actually kind of nice of you. Now, um... Apparently, I have another dish item that Harry likes. Hmm. Kind of makes sense, because it is an item that... Or uses an item that they sell, which is rose water. But I don't think I have crafted it yet. Okay. You know what? Here, have a honey lemon tea. What I should do is um, mm, go to Lena's um, and basically buy a whole bunch of like flour rice it's all of that to good see stuff Gloria walking ravenwood hollow streets even i could admit that her presence was missed by many okay 
Um, let's see. What do I have that you like? That's the thing. Oh, I cannot resist. See, I think that's the thing we should have put the truth uh, serum on and um, got Ariel to just gobble it down. Although we did get the truth, to be fair. Oh, hello. I love the fact that you are walking around like a werewolf still. Uh, I've been feeling down lately, so I think I'll spike my tea with a levitation potion. I just need a bottle of this stuff, or five. Oh, this is perfect for my incantation studies. Good stuff. It's always a treat when Gloria stops by. The woman knows her literature. Do I have any gift for you? No, I, I have to go to Kim's and buy some meat for you. Uh, to, to be able to make stuff that you like. It's all good. I know it wasn't easy for Wesley to dump all that potion into the wellspring. But it was right for him to make amends. It was. And, yeah. We need to... Uh, I've forgiven Wesley. I forgave them pretty quickly, to be fair. It was understandable. Um, oh, thank you so much, Tara. These are my favorite. <laughs> Didn't want to talk over Cephas. So he's just too cute. Um, yeah, it kind, of, kind of all made sense to me. I was perfectly fine with it. It... <sighs> Vanessa leveraged someone's insecurity to obtain what they wanted. And it's not great. It's not a good thing. But honestly, it all makes sense as far as my brain's concerned. All right, let's, um... Uh, what do you mean I'm carrying too many bulletins? How dare... Can I only hold four at once? Oh, dear. Okay. Well, um... I have a theory involving annoying kid brother teenagers and grow faster potions. I'll report back. Okay. Fair enough. Let me go make sure I've made the stuff that I need. So I need paper for Cameron. I also need paper for my potions. We need, um, I'll need to visit Lena tomorrow and buy a ton of stuff. As I said, I want to get, like, flour. Um, oh, I didn't go fishing today. Uh, I will do that. Yeah. Uh, obviously not today, though. What else do I want? I do want to keep making clothes. Um, this one. We got violet leather and violet cloth. Or purple shirt, should I say. Uh, purple cloth. There we go. Get that making. Uh, let's go to our magic area. Deal with this. Okay, what do I have here? Oh, I needed to get paper. That can be done. That. I require candles. Do you really need to know why? No, to be fair. Um... Throw command all. <laughs> um, I also need to get some more feathers. That's fine. Okay. No, that is where I need to go for paper. Oops. Okay. Let's get... They want 10, so let's, like, do 20. Yeah. There we go. And we need two ink as well. And that will do for that. Then I need to check the candles, which would have been useful to do whilst I was in the room. Let's do like four, because I use ink all the time. Okay, candles. I won't bother going to the coven today, because, yeah, you know, um, I feel like there's nothing new there at the moment. Do I need any more soil? Can I pull up the soil bins? I don't know. Hmm. Should I go to bed? Yes. Let's go to bed. We wanna we wanna do some shopping tomorrow. I wanna buy a whole heap of flour so I can make up for my fish into fish sticks for money. I also wanna go fishing. Uh to see if we can get more recipes. Uh we wanna continue with our work of finding recipes that people like. So let's do that. Yeah. Of course we got um at least one quest to give in uh, with Cameron. Ooh, I need red dye. Okay, fair enough. Red dye. Hey, can I make another one? I can. Nice. All right, let's uh, collect this. 
And of course, continue with our reading of minds. Hmm. Persian cake, I think, I for Perry. That was it. What have we got there? Clam chowder? Yeah, nice. I get why you would like that. Never really had it hmm. in the UK, but oh, it looks good. Um, lobster roll. Okay, all right. Actually, I think I bought lobsters. Yes, I just haven't gone to the kitchen hmm. since. Oh, I think I see something. All right, this is Lena worked out apple cider. Okay. Right. Uh, let me go towards Lee. Oh, I'm so slow. No. Do I have? I do have a speed boost longer, which is good. The time for walking slow is done. Quicken my feet and make me run. Right. No bees have produced. You got an app? No, a pomegranate. Oh yes. Hmm. I need to put an orange sapling in. Can I build a garden bed there? I can. This is grand stuff. <laughs> okay. Um. Hmm. That will do for the moment. I guess. Where is... There is my sapling. In you go. Weird place to put it, I know. We will see... If I can shuffle it around in a bit. Right, what have we got in here? We have... One thing for harvest. Some more tomatoes. I also need to get some more seeds from Mina as well, because I am starting to run out. Hey, Ooh. Tara. I'm so glad you've stopped in. I've been thinking you could help me source seeds for my store. But I buy seeds from you. Ah, oh, <laughs> perfect timing. Parker, tell Tara about those plans you showed me yesterday. Sure. Well, it's like a greenhouse, but instead of the plants growing crops, they grow seeds instead. That way you don't have to worry about running out of your favorites. And I'll buy any extras you have. Always nice to have local, organically grown seeds. Yay! Propagation shed. Ooh. Okay, I'll be along in a moment, Parker. Oh, it is such a relief to walk by Town Hall and see Glory there instead of Otto. Or even Antonio. Antonio was all right, but Gloria? She knows how to get things done. Oh, get things done, bless. Right, do I have a gift for you now? Surely I've got one. In here, amongst all... There we go, New England chowder. Come on, Lena, have your first gift from me that you actually love. Oh, that's good chowder. Oh, sorry. When I have chowder, the New England comes out. I mm -hmm. can't help it. Chowder just doesn't sound right, you know? Chowder. Okay. All right, I can get behind that. So, I would like... Oh, uh, good. Flower. Uh, give me a minute to just buy stuff. There we go. Thank you, Lena. Um, I should also probably visit Thomas, right? And and give them some... Uh, gifts. No, money. That's the thing. Um, let's walk into Gloria's. Yes. Well, hey, there might be. Madam Mayor. How are you settling into the job? It's taken a while, but I finally feel like I'm getting a handle on this mayor stuff. I knew it wasn't easy for Antonio, but I didn't realize it was quite this hard either. I just wish he hadn't picked this over us. Is it ironic to think about running for re-election? My vote is yours. Who'd be next? I think you know. Um, who'd be next? I like the questions. Um... Uh, my vote is yours. I think you know. After Otto, I'd be worried about anyone other than. Oh, you I didn't mean to it. guilt trip well, her. That's that. I'm going to run. I can't believe I just said that out loud. Thank you, Tara. Not just for your input, but for everything you've done for our home. Ah. You want some cloth? Hi there, Mayor Miranda. Oh, it's so strange to be called that. Antonio was Mayor Miranda, not me. Does he know that you're back? We spoke on the phone. He still can't believe it, to say the least. And we don't know when he'll be able to get his visa sorted and come back home. You know, I would like to update the art in here. Some inclusive pieces that are more reflective of our diverse community. And I never knew it, but Kai is a very talented painter. 
Could you source some cloth for Kai to make his canvases? He was able to get pigments for his paints once the ferry started up again, but he still needs something to paint on. Sure. I would be glad to help you brighten this place up. Thanks, Tara. Uh, deliver cloth. Yes, I will. Violet and Sebastian have grown so much, but I'm determined to make new memories with them. There's too much we've missed out on. Aww. I do like Gloria. I think she's lovely. And, yeah, I don't think she could do the whole being mayor and being the coven leader. And honestly, I think she's probably better as mayor. Um, just realistically. Okay, what else am I doing? We're going to the consciousness center. Uh, can't really say that quickly. Kai wants that. Violet wants that. Where, hmm, is Kai at his stall? Because I've got coconuts. Nope. Okay, fair enough. Oh, Kim. Kim. Howdy. We need to talk to you every time we see you if we're going to marry. I still can't believe what Juliet went through. She's such a trooper. Sophia should be proud having a kid like that. Yeah, and she is, to be fair. Like, genuinely proud. You can see it every time she talks about Sophia, and I just love it. So, so much. Hey, this is just like my dad makes. I mean, it's not as good as his version, but this is the best you can get in Fairhaven. Oh, good friend. Did that just increase? I think it did. Um... No, not quite. We're still at three and a half hearts. That's a shame. Right, consciousness center. Drop off. Here you go, lovely. Uh, I'm really glad to see you today, Tara. Really? What's up? It's been so nice getting to know you since no. you moved to town. No. I've been wondering if you'd be interested in joining me for dinner sometime. Uh, no way. Sorry, Cameron. I'm not really interested. Ah, I... I see. Well, one can never really reach the pinnacle if one doesn't go out on a limb sometimes. <laughs> Do come by the Consciousness Center anytime. It, it's always nice to see you. It bugs me because the whole I like I like who I'm getting to know. I want to go out for dinner. Friends do that, right? I actually make it clear you're asking someone on a date. Any luck Come on. Sourcing the paper and ink yet? Yes. Uh, here it is. Thanks so much. I'll make good use of it. You better. <laughs> yes. Well, um, I should get to work. Hey, we got 170 gold. Thank you very much. I needed some more gold. Best friend Cameron there. That's a weird sentence to say, isn't it? Let's give an update to Gran. Uh, hmm. With the witch weed. I feel like that's a good a good one. The town knows Lena about magic. Her back together. He accepts her for who she really is. Maybe the rest of the town will accept us too. In time. To be fair, I think Parker would have accepted Lena for who she really is long ago. He just wasn't given the opportunity. <laughs> to be really honest. Oh, talking of which, we should go to Parker's and see how much this propagation shed is. Uh, let's talk I've to you. I learned a thing or two about floriography, but are there any books on magical flower language? What if I gift someone a magic flower because I think it's beautiful, but it turns out that specific bloom means, I don't know, may rats and gnomes overrun your house? That'd be super specific. But not impossible. We've been through this, Parker. Propagation shed. Um, hmm. Looks like you've already cleared some space. Where is it going to be then? Okay, 20 glass. That's my my sticking point. It's always glass, isn't it? Alright, let's do some fishing then. I need more bait. <laughs> oh, okay. Quests everywhere. Uh, let's give you this. This is solid. Thanks. You're welcome. Hi, Violet. Picking wildflowers? No. I just come here to read a book sometimes. I'm working on my own book, but I keep running out of paper since I have to use big sheets of it to wrap flowers. Do you have any to spare? Uh, make paper. Yes, sure, I will. For a long time, I didn't think I could balance magic and 
what I actually want to be doing with Sebastian. It's honestly been hard to unlearn that. Aww. That's she lovely? Okay, all the way down. There we go, rice pudding. My abuela on my dad's side. Buddy. We know this. But, hello. What do you need, Shelby? Oh my gosh! I did the card trick just like you said. I can't wait to show my mom and dad. Oh, don't show them how the trick works, you hear? Real magic has got to stay secret. I mean, you're so fair point. gentle with all the kids, Shelby. Gentler than you treat their parents. They haven't learned to disrespect me yet. Besides, where I come from, we treasure children. Where you come from? You mean the city? <laughs> no, no. Somewhere much farther away than that. I get the sense you've lived a very full life. Lots of adventure. Am I on to something? You haven't the half of it. But one day, you'll understand. You're destined for as much adventuring as me. That uh, sounds standard for Fairhaven. I'll try to live up to that. I don't need any more adventure. No, I'll try to live up sure to that. I'm sure you could know that, but I'll try to live up to that prediction. I have my ways of knowing things. <laughs> no matter what someone wants, fate finds them. And on Fairhaven, fate is always real close by. Good friend. Yay. Do you think you might move closer to town now, Shelby? Why would I do that? Nothing's changed. Are you serious? Everything's changed. Don't rest on your laurels. There's always more things that need to be put back in balance. Fair enough. Ah, oh, depressing, Shelby. I mean, they speak the truth, but that's why it's so depressing. I need to make some more stuff for you, Shelby. I'm sorry. Okay, we we do need to go uh, and cook some stuff. I couldn't find any bottles here for recipes. That could be the wrong season. Could be the wrong location. So we'll go... I don't know where else. Maybe, maybe the beach? Yeah, we'll try at the beach. See if we can get some recipes. Oh, hello, Francis. I grew up in the city, so I thought I'd seen it all. But I'd never seen the mayor's spouse levitating in the town square. Now, I can say that I've seen it all. Hmm. Maybe you can once you see the mayor doing it as well. But, you know. I... It's impossible to see everything. Realistically. You can desire to see as much as possible, but seeing everything... That is impossible. Oh, yeah. I've got coconuts for you, lovely. People, like, actually read the notice board? Oh, awesome. Uh, My how you doing? My family keeps asking me how things are going, and, like, I don't even know where to start. I don't want them to think I've taken one too many headshots with my board. Valid point. Valid point. Um... I don't know what to suggest, honestly. Uh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. I love it's these. It's an awkward one, you isn't can't it? Go wrong with meat in a pocket. No. Especially a pocket made of bread. Kind of agree with that statement, Kai. Uh, some meat in the pocket would be weird, though. Yeah. So Ugh. Natalia's single, right? I know she had a thing for Cameron, but maybe her ardor has cooled. Hmm, maybe, Marty. Do we, can we set you guys up? That would be hilarious. I'd love to see it. I want to see, like, the whole town just get together. I genuinely would love a game where if you're just not quick enough, people will just pair off without you. And that's it. Damn damn it. You, you just got no choice. They're just gone. You know, that's how it works in real life. Okay, you're fishy, you're woody, everybody else is working, this is grand stuff. Let me get more glass on the go, because we need 20 of it. Like, do I just build more forges to get it done quickly? Part of me feels like I should. Um, purple silk? Nope, I want purple leather. Uh, grab that. 
Apple cider. Someone else, someone likes apple cider, so I'll put that on. Forget who. Um, hmm. Yes, let's do cooking. Because I should. I need butter. Okie dokie. Got butter churn here, right? Yep. Okay, done a whole heap of cooking. I've got butter. More recipes. Well, not more recipes. More, more stuff. Ah, ready for giftage in my infinite pockets it is fantastic uh let's see can i make another one i can grand stuff um getting close to like completing my goal i love it who have we got next marty <laughs> marty who wants to go out with natalia I, see something. I love it uh danish i just made one of those yes grand stuff I get why you like a Danish, Marty. Hmm. Oh, I think I see something. Uh, carrot cake. Good. And we got one more, which I will use. Odd the Marty. Oh, I think I see something. Hot chocolate. Nice. Okay. Um, nothing else really to do in here. Is there any more? No, we've got all of the items that we can have for the basement. Bit of a shame. Um, okay, we've got glass going on. We've got cheese. <laughs> Constant cheese. Nothing else really to do other than maybe visit the um, uh, town. Not town, the coven. Should get some more paper made for Violet. Let's do that. Okay, and we might as well go deliver that. Can we deliver it? No. But ow. As important as communing with nature is, sometimes it's just as nice to swing by Ravenwood Hollow. You know, enjoy their whole perpetual twilight, non-weather vibes. You're not wrong. I oh, don't want to de deliver off. Juliet's not doing too well. She's happy for Sebastian, but I know she wishes she could bring her father back too. Death is a much stronger force than any magic. Very true. Aww. Every time I come home from Coven, Angus gets super quiet. I can tell he wants to ask me something. I'm sure he's just curious. I had a million questions for my grandma when I found out about all this, too. Why don't you just talk to him about it? Say that you had a good time. Talk about how, like, you know, if Damo tripped up really the steps. Sorry, Stuff like that. Leslie should give us all a discount at his bookshop. That's what I would do. But <laughs> you didn't give Cameron a discount after the great chicken debate. Wait, wait, wait. Who said I felt sorry about that? <laughs> I tried telling Francis about his magic when he first moved here. Glad to see he's come round to embracing it. That's a bit like I told you so. Oh, sometimes I wonder if I should have gone after Gloria. Maybe if I'd found her sooner, things would have been different. Very awkward when you talk about Gloria when she's right next to you. Sebastian's next to join the coven. I can hardly believe it. It feels like when he started school for the first time. Aww. Okay. Yeah, let's go home. I I want to I want to see the date. The 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 ultimate date. And I'm pretty sure tomorrow those snowdrops will be ready. Let's go to bed. Is it time for bed? Yes, we want the stuff to grow. I really, really hope for the best for Thomas and Sophia. Sophia deserves it. Juliet deserves her mom to be happy as well. Uh, Juliet's probably going to struggle with it, to be brutally honest, and that's fully understandable, acceptable, to be expected. Whoa, there is a lot. Seriously? Are you not ready? When are you going to be ready? Tomorrow. Okay. Fair enough. I'm, I'm not sad. Okay, we've got the paper. We don't have the snowdrops. That's tomorrow. Ah. Okay, let's go. Let's go find Violet. Um, is Marty... There they are. Okay. 
I'm gonna get another chip. Oh, okay. Hm. Stupid steamship authority. This is animal napping. Something wrong, Marty? Yes. I've been trying to get a new livestock order across on the ferry for weeks now. They say they won't send them unless I supply extra feed for their shipment crates to account for any transport delays. <gasps> Oh, new animals? What kind? Well, I've got baby alpacas, piglets, and ducklings in the order. Oh! I've got some feed, but I could really use help making more. I'll take any corn you've got to spare. Oh, and some carrots, too. I'll help. We'll make sure they've got plenty of snacks for their trip. <laughs> Tara's so happy. The Menagerie mix up. Bring Marty some corn and carrots to feed his new livestock. Here you Give go. some corn and carrots for your livestock feed, Marty. Thanks. Hey, what do you think about this caption for my post? I'm very excited to welcome some new animals to Maplethorpe Ranch. Good, huh? No, oh, hey, if you want to make your own feed, all you need is a grinder. You could build one in your tool shed. What? <laughs> oh. Hey, you're a witch, right? Uh-huh. Got any potions that cure hay fever? Afraid not. Uh, I thought it was worth a shot. Really was. I don't blame you, Marty. Uh, do I have anything you like? I do. Hot chocolate. Here you go, lovely. I can't wait for the new animals. Oh, wow, that hits me right in the childhood. I better get a snap of it quick before I devour it all. Okay, fair enough. Alright, what can we get? I want a chicken. Let's get another truck. Um Here's your animal. Now, what would you like to call her? Uh Chimkin. Chimkin. That's definitely a name. <laughs> Female gonna be constructed in your tool shed. I can't wait. Give me. Let me say hello. How you doing, Chimkin? Okay, let's go let's go build this thing in the tool shed, because honestly, that's gonna be helpful. Marty's rarely there. Uh da, da, da. Feed meal. So it's just two more things. Okay. Very easy recipe. Okay, and what do you put in it? Poultry feed. Corn, which will give you eight. Okay. That makes, like, a lot of sense. I like it. What was I going to go do? Oh, yeah, give uh, Violet the paper. Um, hmm. What else can we do? I guess we could sort of, like, visit the various places. See if we get any more quests. Here's your paper, Violet. Thanks. This might sound like a random question, but... Do you ever have a hard time letting go of the past? Um, who says we have to? No, but my dad did. He can't change the past. Oh. I think all of these are kind of valid answers. You can't change the past, which is very important for you to understand, especially if your past has um, some negative connotation in it um letting go of the past is a bit of a weird sentence because i don't know what you mean by that do you mean like forgetting it do you mean understanding and moving on do you mean like what do you mean by letting go of the past um is it letting go of the anger you feel over it like that can be really damaging which is why that one's kind of interesting because obviously her dad held on to a grudge with his grandfather and as such like you know Tara wasn't able to spend time with her nan her grandfather you know but there's also you don't have to let go of the past it's um I think it should inform you like if you there is the argument about history of why it's so important to be taught to people and it's the same for your own history as well it's so important for you to learn and understand and grow from because without it you will not change and there is something very important about changing now i don't mean you know, become a completely different person but to sand off the things you don't enjoy about yourself to um, have more empathy for people all of these things are important for humanity to do 
And in regards to history, if you don't teach history, we are doomed to repeat our mistakes of our past. Because that lesson of why we shouldn't do something wasn't taught. And it's one of the most important subjects. And I wish I knew that when I was younger. I wish that was taught to me as to why it was so important. So I'd actually pay more attention in history. So I, I don't I of can't say this one. But I don't know that we have to let go of the past. It made us who we are. That's true. Thanks for saying that. So this book I've been working on, it was my mom's. I lost it, and I'm trying to replace it, one page at a time. But the more time passes, it's harder for me to remember the pages. I'm worried one day I'll wake up having forgotten it all forever. Let me know if I can help. Thanks. You've already helped enough. I, I'm surprised that you were able to even replicate one of the pages. I read all the time. I love reading books. I can't. I could tell you all the stories about what was in it. Like, maybe even tell you about the characters and their struggles and their strife. I could not replicate it page by page. Best friends! Hooray! Oh, why did it take us so long? asking me about how dating apps work. Like, who is she going to match with here? Shelby? So, does that mean she split up from your dad? Like, did they split up before she went missing? Um, maybe, you know, as I said, maybe he's moved on. My dad's side taught me, but you know, six years is a long time. You kind of can't blame him. Um, That's one denim overalls. Yes, I will sell it. Three new designs. Oh! <gasps> Uh, fun. Fun designs. Pink sherbet overalls. <laughs> um, Keisha and denim shorts. Hmm. A garnet glimmer mini. That might be worth it for um, a date. The, gla uh, 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 the glitter mini. That's what I was trying to say. Right, okay. What else are we doing? Um, nothing. I don't have any quests like I've got complete. Uh-oh, I swear there was something else I was going to be doing today. I mean, I do need some bait, so we'll grab some. Gloria, Giacomo, Marcus and Lena. All my neighbors were witches, and I never knew. I understand why they never said a word. I do. But it's an awful lot to find all this out. Especially at my age. At any age, honestly, lovely. Oh, I do love them. Um, let me get... A fair whack. There we go. Thank you very much, Bruno. Um, hmm. How you doing, Kai? Natalia gives me mad, weird looks whenever we pass each other. Like, is she going to eat me or she's scared of me? Huh? <laughs> 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 Genuinely yeah, believe that is something Kai would say. Like I always say. That's Coconuts amazing. The best fruit around. It's because they're so big. I don't know, lovely. It could be either. And um, I don't know which one you prefer, honestly. Oh, dear. How are you doing? Remember when we used to run a lemonade stand in town and then spend our earnings on ice cream? Yes. Whatever happened to that old ice cream parlor? Oh, the owner retired ages ago. Truth is, it's hard to run a business year-round here. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, I made you a lobster roll. I made two, actually. Ooh, nice! You didn't skimp on the lobster, either. Can you believe they sell these to tourists for $25 each in milk water? Yes. Lobster is expensive. Um, and it's so easy to miss cook. Moosh, how's your hand? Ooh, what Moosh. happened? I got a little too close to the deli slicer the other day. But Amira stitched me up. Look, I'm all healed. Good. And be more careful, Kim Joon. I will, babe. Aw. Oh, is Sophia going to set those two up? But, damn it, I kind of want to see it. But, damn it. I don't it. know Hazel for long, <laughs> but I know she'd love what you've done with the farm. Thank you. I got a gift for you. I'm not sure I made any, actually. Just because I didn't have the... the ooh, 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 there we go. Enjoy. Hey, 
this is just like my dad makes. I mean, it's not as good as his version, but this is the best you can get in Fairhaven. Thank you, Kim. All right, I want to buy some stuff from you. Uh, we can get some hide, but no, let's get like some chicken. Yep, and then beef. There is a lot of recipes that require beef. Okay, I'll buy nine then. Oh, I'm poor. No, let's go sell my, my fish fingers. Oh, there's so many quests. Hey, Tara, do you think you could help me out with something? Probably. Bruno's been saying he wants to make a real attempt at staying on the wagon, but he likes hanging out at the bar for the company. So, I want to make a new zero-proof ale for him. I just need some wheat and a few other ingredients. I think this is such a lovely idea, Damon. I would be happy to fill up a few plots for you. Yep. Thanks, Tara. Oh. Okay, we just need some hops. I'm down. Yes, totally. So what did you think about what you saw? Now that the ferry's repaired, I can finally refill my condiment stocks. I had to ration the mustard. <gasps> no! Sacrilege! Okay, um... <laughs> now I did make some fish fingers. Give me... 6,300. I wanna go get some pork. <laughs> Hey, Tara, what's up? I'm packing up a batch of Ikura and ice to send home to my sister and her baby later. Do you usually send a baby fish eggs? Yeah, it's a perfect baby food. All the omega acids for little growing brains. My dad used to make us chirashi bowls with Ikura and fresh uni. I'm totally doing the same for my little ones someday. Oh, they be a great parent. Kids, like, plural? Don't you need a partner first? <laughs> this is the one. So how many kids are you thinking of having, Kim? I don't know. I guess me and my partner will have to figure that out. I'd like at least two, though. Childhood is way more fun with a sibling to torment. <sighs> I gotta say, this would be a pretty idyllic place to raise a family. I can see why Hazel chose it. Maybe you came back because you feel the same way. I haven't really thought about that stuff yet. I'm still trying to get the farm in order. Well... I bet when the time comes, you'll be a great mom. If that's what you want. Hey, best friends. Love it. Could I have some pork, please? And one more piece of beef, so I have ten. Thank you very much. Hey, yeah, how you doing, Wesley? Violet and Damon have been telling me how handsome I look as a wolf. I know they're only trying to make me feel better, but I appreciate it. I'm impressed that like, everyone's okay with Wesley coming into town, looking that way. It must have been a bit of a shock, realistically. Because when, when Wesley visited with the whole uh, Vanessa drama, they they were in their more hum human-based form. And yeah, as such, they weren't the most scary of the people that arrived. And now, they're probably the most scary of the people that arrived. Like, no, there's, there's a lot of damage a werewolf's mouth could make, realistically. Let's go say hello to Giver. I just saw them wandering by. Need to put hops in. Oh, hello. What's up, new teach? Oh, just thinking of how to restore the children's faith in school now that their teacher's been revealed as an egomaniacal kidnapper. <laughs> You're neither egomaniacal nor a kidnapper, so you should be fine. Right, but I should show them they can trust me. I was mm -hmm. thinking maybe a picnic? And you could help by providing fresh veggies? But Emmy and Finn hate fresh veggies, remember? Oh, please, I know that. I want to make pav budgie with potatoes and cauliflower. It's one of my favorite meals from Mumbai. You take vegetables and simmer them with spices until you get a mash, top it with butter, and... <laughs> That does sound good. Oh, even the twins won't turn up their noses nope. that bad. Yeah. We'll all go sit by the overlook outside my house and eat a meal together. It'll be idyllic. In that case, I really can't say no to bringing you potatoes and cauliflower. Nope, I can give it to you now. I bought all the spices I'd need for the puff budgie from Kai. Now I just need the vegetables. And voila, here they are. Oh, this is perfect. Thanks, Tara. I'll let you know how my picnic gambit works out. A class act. 
Aww. The other day, Finn raced over and grabbed a whoopee cushion out from under me before I could sit down on it at my wow. desk. Poor thing. He has so much pranking energy pent up now that Vanessa and Otto are gone, but he can't quite bear to spend it on me. That is a compliment. I love it. Oh, you should so be so happy. Here, have a chai. Continue off home. You must be a mind reader. Oh, I just made a batch of scones and this will be perfect. Enjoy, lovely. Ah, oh, love giver. I'm so pleased said the teacher. I think it's going to be awesome. Okay. Hmm. I'm kind of looking at the time in the episode and I don't think we're going to get the date today. We're going to have to hold off until tomorrow, unfortunately. Uh, tomorrow? Well, I mean, tomorrow is in the, in the game. But it'll be another day after that. Although, if you're binge watching later on, it's immediate. I don't know. I'm not going to control you. But, uh, yeah, we're doing quite well. I'm very much enjoying the information we're getting. We have got... Well, we haven't quite, but we've started the process for the new animals, which I think is awesome, because I really want ducklings. I want, um, is it llamas? It was one of them. Uh, I've forgotten the other name for the other type that look like llamas. I always get confused with llamas. Anyway, we've got piglets coming as well. That's going to be exciting. Um, Kai made me laugh very hard. We have Sophia being a bit interested in... Him in a mirror. Oh, I don't know how I feel about this because I love seeing um, relationships develop, um, which I'm not sort of like involved in, right? But I did have my heart kind of set on Kim. But maybe, maybe I go for Wesley and allow that story to play out. Like I don't know. Oh, I'm so curious because I like seeing like um relationships to develop that isn't anything to do with me i think it i don't know i think it feels nice anyway we also got a new uh parker recipe which is uh construction uh, i forget which button to press there we go we need 20 uh glass which honestly we'll be able to get in the next episode so we'll get the propagation shed in the next episode we'll get sophia and thomas's date in the next episode I don't know what else we'll get done, but hopefully you will enjoy it. And I do hope you enjoyed today's. If you did, please do leave me a like. It really does help out the channel. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know. Should I wait and see whether or not Amira and uh, Kim get set up by Sophia? How that goes? I feel like I want to before I um, make my move. I'd love to hear what you guys thought. And yeah, thank you so much for watching, liking, commenting, subscribing. All of that amazing stuff you guys do. And of course, a huge... And very special thank you to my wonderful Patreons whose names are scrolling across the screen as I speak. And I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.